A Life of Mysticism. A Life of Joy. The life of mysticism is one of devotion and reverence to God and therefore to all. It is a discipline of mind, of training the mind to hear and follow only the voice for God. The goals our everlasting peace of mind and the humour, gentleness, happiness, freedom and joy that follow from such a state of mind. The life of mysticism is as spontaneous and playful as it is serene and tranquil. Alive and energised by the living moment, the need for rituals and rules and structure falls away from the mind. Mysticism learns mastery through love and compassion and kindness and every day is like a painting full of opportunities to extend the love of God. Mysticism is not ruled by fear of consequences. The law of love reigns supremely in divine mind. And there is no other. Love is without opposite. And this fact is finally approached and accepted without exception or compromise. In the awakening, it becomes clear that doubt is impossible. Willingness to humbly accept oneself as a spirit child of God created perfect in the likeness of God, grows and grows with each holy instant. The world of idols loses all of its former attraction as the heavenly light enfolds the heart of the mystic. When such vastness and magnitude become apparent, there is need of nothing else. Meditation on the divine is at first a practice, then a continuous living experience until it finally yields to an eternally blissful and completely unalterable state of being. Such is the state of grace. To move in the direction of this state of absolute being, the desires of the world of multiplicity must fall away. Miracles lead the way, for the way of the true mystic is approached to God through attraction, not through avoidance or opposition. As error is seen as false and without a real cause, its foundation disappears in the light of truth. Perfect love casts out fear, for belief has been withdrawn and replaced by the knowledge of life in God. There is no battle to be fought, only a gentle awakening to the truth of what always was and always will be so.
All things are accepted, exactly as they are. For that which is eternal is unchanged, unchanging and unchangeable. It is understood that no arrangement of circumstances, no sense of controlling persons, events and situations and no amount of gain or personal improvement is necessary to, quote, attain the peace and happiness that is available now. Only yielding to truth, a surrender of the belief in illusions, a stepping back and putting full trust in God is required. There is no sacrifice Can the giving up of nothing for the remembrance of everything be a sacrifice? Joy has no cost, for love is without an opposite. Mysticism is finally yielding to absolute happiness in God and self. Only the mind which knows I and the Father are one, knows absolute happiness. Thank you, God, for leading us all home to you. Your way is certain, for your plan cannot fail. Hallowed be your holy name, O God of eternity, and hallowed be the name of your beloved child. My heart is beating in the joy of God. My heart is resting in the peace of God. My soul is invulnerable in the strength of God. Mine eye is single in the light of God. We are one. God is one. All is one. Love, David Hofmeister. From the blog on Living Miracles dot org